it's Jehu Tihotep. I'm going to do some more math today. Come along with me. I'm gonna do ancient Egyptian fractions. Uh, it was uh, a little bit odd learning how to do it. So please bear with me. At first I was like, oh, I do not like this. But I found that using the ancient Egyptian methods, their process of doing fractions actually works really well. So, um, bear with me. We are going to use this fractional method in the future. Okay? So, the ancient Egyptians had no numerators, only denominators. So, they did, um, it's actually kind of an I over the number for the uh, fraction. So, that would have been one half. That would have been one fourth. Uh, bear with my handwriting. This isn't a figure I'm used to drawing. <laughs> um, so, and we would do one half, one fourth. Now, if we wanted to do three fourths, that's what we would write. If if an ancient Egyptian wanted to write three fourths, they would write it. So they would do one half and one fourth put together. So um, their fractions were made out of multiple pieces of different sizes, which is not how we do it. But it does result in some really cool uses within their system. Um, one of the other things they did is they always organized their... Um, fractions by uh, the value they had. So as they got smaller and smaller, they got farther and farther away from the whole number. Um, and what that meant was that they got more and more insignificant as they continued, which made truncating the fractions a good way to handle fractions that got too long just like we do with our decimal system. So it's kind of like a combination of our fractional system and our decimal system, um, just without using a base 10 for their decimal system. <laughs> it's um, a little awkward to start with, but I have personally found it is uh, really good inside the ancient Egyptian system. So uh, I really, really want to stress that it's worth it to become a little bit more familiar with these if you want to continue in these videos with me because in a couple of days or weeks I'm not exactly sure of the timing um, I'm going to show you how to multiply using the ancient Egyptian system with uh, mixed numbers and fractions so it could be interesting so uh, bear with me. So I think that's it for today. Um, have a great day. Bye. Bye.